monies. Yeah, and I've been telling y'all, y'all better hide y'all credit cards. Y'all better hide y'all money. Y'all better hide y'all cash apps. And y'all better run and don't don't be looking back because they always got their hand out. And it's crazy because at the end of the day. Hey, hey, you know what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? It's all I mean, hold up. Ooh, I hold up. You know what I'm saying, you get what I'm saying, you see what I'm saying, it's la la me, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, you know what I'm saying, you get what I'm saying, you see what I'm saying, it's la la me, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, you know what I'm saying, you get what I'm saying, you see what I'm saying, it's la la me, hold up, Ooh, hold up. Ooh, hold up. As I said before, I hope everybody out there is doing good and great. I hope everyone is keeping your hands washed, sanitized, wearing your face masks, and basically staying out of the way. Before we jump into this reaction video, just let me say, just in case your post notifications is not doing what they're supposed to be doing, I do ask that you hop in your whip. Hop in your hoo ride. Go ahead and take that cruise on over because I do have the reaction videos uploaded. Also, y'all, let's check that notification bell. Make sure your notification bell is set for all or however you choose to have it set. Also, y'all, let's check that subscribe bar. Make sure it's set for subscribed and not subscribed because you already know at the end of the day. Yes, YouTube will unsubscribe you. As I always say before I jump into my reaction video, my thoughts is my thoughts and my opinions is that way um anyways y'all let's jump into this reaction let's jump into this reaction okay before i get into what i want to say to everyone who have emailed me and has put in a request for me to do a reaction on certain people as I always say, and I have said before, I haven't forgot about you. I just haven't got around to it yet, but I will get it done, okay? And also, if there if there is anybody in y'all, you know, you want to request, you see me doing reactions, but you want me to react on certain people or however, please. Go in the description box, click on my email, and you know what I'm saying? Hit me up. Um... So when I do come and do reactions, y'all, and it might seem like, girl, it's old, it's off, it's because I'm trying to catch up on people that have asked me to or request me to go over to a channel and to just, you know, scan through it and see what I think about this. Just want to know basically my thoughts and my opinions on it, and I can give you that, just you know what I'm saying, bear with me. Lala won't forget about you, okay? <laughs> Anyways, y'all, we're going to talk about my jazzy life, hmm. So, we already know that she has this new boo, okay? We know, okay? She's not going to let nobody forget that she has a bae, okay? Or a boo or whatever. But one thing, I, you know how I, I, I'm getting tired of her and bae. It's like, dang, y'all act like y'all ain't used to nobody. <laughs> and strong mommy Chrissy should be used to him because man she has seven baby daddies okay so you should be used to calling somebody babe to why you ain't gotta use it so much to try to let everybody know that you got somebody I mean it's okay there's a lot of guys out here that ain't nothing new you can get a guy uh, anytime anytime okay anytime and i know y'all know that but y'all ain't gotta keep baying you know baying bay okay well god i you know what i have not heard bay so much since i've been on these youtube streets since this you know this little mommy sector these three mommies but especially jazzy and chrissy bay bay and oh and bay well like i said ain't nothing new okay Y'all act like y'all have never, ever dated nobody before. And the reason that I say that is because you ain't never just comfortable with it. You feel like you got to tell the whole world and continue to air out because you want everybody to know that you got to bake. Congratulations. Great. But I don't think it's nothing to brag on when at the end of the day, the bay that you call is, is, is not helping you and not benefiting you at all. The only way that they are benefiting you is in a bedroom. And I feel like that ain't enough because 
I can give this to any and everybody if I wanted to. But if I'm going to sit here and I'm going to brag on you, you know what I'm saying, on these YouTube streets, and everybody know that I am a single mother, and everybody know that I get on here and I do be struggling because I get on here and I try to what they call it, dry big and hustle my subscribers out they, out they monies. Yeah, and I be telling y'all, y'all better hide y'all credit cards. Y'all better hide y'all money. Y'all better hide y'all cash apps. And y'all better run and don't don't be looking back because they always got their hand out. And it's crazy because at the end of the day, if you have that man figure, if you have a bae or a boo, then what are they doing for you? Hmm. That's that's the question. I don't care about you getting on here saying you got a bank. Congratulations. But if he's not benefiting you, he ain't he ain't worth speaking on. I'm just saying, if I have a bay and a boo, but I'm still struggling, like I'm by myself and I don't have enough, he ain't worth bragging on. I'm just saying. And I understand that these ladies are still young. You know, they got a lot of learning to do, y'all. I'm just saying. And I understand that. But you have to understand when you're getting on here and you're trying to put yourself as a YouTube influencer, yeah, some of your shit got to be in line. Some of the shit that you put out here just can't be okay because you'll have the, the, the next chick or the next female looking at you and feel like this shit is okay. And no, this shit is not okay. I always respect yourself and always know your worth you get what i'm saying and always if you if you struggling hard but you got a bay and a boo that comes into your household and eat your food that you yeah eat your food that you barely have and when you don't have enough no mm -mm, bay boo gotta go i'm just saying and you know what's crazy to me y'all is when they always talking about these bays and boos they always want to play house and I probably said this in my other video is, you know, what type of guys are these? Because if anybody that has their own place, they have their own situation and stuff together, they not just going to want to lay up at your place and just be with you. I mean, it should be, it should be, you know what I'm saying? Y'all kind of taking turns with it. But it's like, to me, I be feeling like these is some guys that ain't got nothing going for themselves, really, because y'all can come in and y'all can lay up on them and lay up with they kids and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Basically trying to move in with me. Why are you trying to move in with me? You should be having your place and having your shit together, right? Am I right or wrong? Put in the comments down below. Because I could be tripping, y'all. I don't know. So anyway, what we're going to talk about is my Jazzy Life got on her Instagram. She wanted to post, you know, she... I guess it was his birthday and how she celebrated, you know, the candlelight and just the things that she done for him. See, that's 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 where you wrong it, okay? I understand it's okay to switch it up and you know it's okay for the, the female to do and pay, but again, if you're not there for me, like I'm trying to be there for you, I don't need you. Okay? Cause I don't understand <laughs> You sitting here doing all this for him for his birthday, but what did he do for you? He didn't do nothing for you. You was with your mama. And 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 if your mama wouldn't have bought you this little birthday cake and you know try to invite your brother over and y'all kind of she wanted to celebrate and give you something, look like you wouldn't have had nothing. You would have just been at home stuck with your kids. But you get on here and you brag about this bae. What did bae do for you, okay? If I'm going to do a, a TikTok video or if I'm going to put something on Instagram with a celebrating, can you put up what he did for you? Hmm. Did you do more for him than he did for you? You did all this with just a little coins because my jazzy life, you be struggling, okay? You be struggling, but to let a grown man come in and lay up and he ain't helping with nothing. Hmm. You... And then you get on here, you give him what? Candlelight, you what? You fix him a dinner, then you showing, okay, you got your lingerie on. It's like, wow, what is the purpose? We already know when you have a man, what you do with your man, how it go. But what is this? You know, I don't understand the post. Because after a while, you'll be back on YouTube saying you don't have enough or something is going wrong or you 
uh, the office, something going on with your rent, or they adding different fees on, you'll come back with something, and everybody should look at you. All your subscribers and your supporters should be asking the big question, where is Bay? Hmm. Do y'all ever think or wonder, do they be talking to married men? I be having that question in the back of my mind. I wonder, do they talk to these guys that are married? I'm just saying. And I know Strong Mommy Christy does that. And I remember somebody saying in a comment that probably most of them guys are married. Strong Mommy Christy Baby Daddies because she landed with no whole body. Not even, not even one to say I'm with one of my baby daddies. You have all these baby daddies and you're not with none of them. Okay? And you also have some that just at the end of the day they want no, they don't want no relationship with their kid whatsoever. You get what I'm saying? You got blood out here and you don't want nothing to do with it. So that's the, the the question that, that comes to me is like, you know, hmm. And also with Jazzy, when she was getting on here and saying he's from Austin as well, but I'm waiting for him to get, well, like, where is he? I mean, is he working or what is he doing? Hmm. I don't know, y'all. I was just wondering. But when I seen that video, I was like, girl. Y'all don't know. Y'all not gonna get it. Y'all gonna have to learn one day what y'all worth, and then when y'all raising daughters, you know, not just to give everything that you got to a man and he can't do nothing for you. You know what I'm saying? You sitting over there on food stamps. You struggling. Yeah, we know you struggling, Jazz, because it shows. You struggling. You barely have enough food to put different meals together. You throwing up different meals. You're struggling. You can't do the same things as, you know, your friends. And I'm not saying that you should be able to, but I'm just saying your situation. But you, it's okay to bring a guy in here and let me spend these little coins that I have to try to celebrate his birthday. Birthday, I'm sorry. But I didn't get that in return. No, something is wrong with that picture. And at the end of the day, when these guys turn up and they do you wrong or they turn up and, and, and wind up and get you, get you pregnant and then they gone, don't want nothing to do with you. Well, you seen all of it right here. He wasn't doing nothing for you. From, he wasn't doing nothing for you from the get-go. But laying up with you, hell. You can get that anywhere. I'm just saying. It don't make sense to me. I just seen that and I was like, mm -mm -mm. They would never learn. They would never learn. And I want to know why y'all so desperate to have these guys come lay up in your house around your kids. You can always be in a relationship. With whoever you want to talk to. But doesn't mean that they have to come in and lay up and, and be around your kids. You know? Because they just show if it don't work out, then what? Then what's next? Then the next person come in. And then also, it's like, how long do y'all know these guys before y'all just bring them in around y'all kids? You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Watching this YouTube, y'all, as I said before, it shows you a lot of things of just, you know, how how... How things go on, how people carry themselves, how how they do in different households, you know. But like I said, hey, maybe because they're young, they ain't too young. They they old enough to know what's right, what's right and what's wrong. But girl, don't be spending your little coins that you can be spending on your kids, okay? Trying to celebrate this this man's day. Or go out the way for him and you really don't have it and he can't even do the shit in return. I'm all about you chewed. I got to know my worth. If you ain't doing shit for me or mine or helping me or I'm benefiting from you, but I'm still struggling, trying to make it, but you coming over here eating up all the pancakes, you know what I'm saying? Eating up all the food and the snacks we got in here. Oh, you's a no-go shit. You got to go. Mm -hmm, that way anyways y'all that's it for this video if y'all like this video i ask that y'all do throw them thumbs up and if y'all don't know why because it's not like you know what i'm saying